What's going on there folks? Earthmaster here jumping in on this Friday evening. It is October 30th, 2020. We've got Halloween tomorrow. 8.30 p.m. West Coast time and on the globe there you can see that large earthquake that struck the Greece area, Turkey region. 7.0 earthquake way earlier this morning. I uh, was going to do an update video on it but uh, decided to wait for the up... Wait, wait until tonight to cover it a little bit. Uh, but it's a pretty significant quake over there and unfortunately uh, quite a few fatalities being reported it looks like in that region you can see the uh, 7.0 right there in the blue circle pretty uh pretty big one over the past few weeks we had seen a pretty good increase in earthquake activity there in the aegean sea that uh we can go back and check that real quick and show you guys but what i'm talking about there well there's the 30 days all magnitudes there and this is only showing pretty much I think 4.0 and above I think that's all the USGS is going to show so there's probably much much more uh, than what we're seeing there but you can see the uptick in activity over the last 30 days and this area up here was really active um, over that 30 day period so it's just a matter of time before we started to see some uh, major movement up there in the area uh, a little bit of aftershock activity following that 7.0 the largest so far a 5.2 earthquake the depth of this earthquake looks like it was about 21 kilometers below the surface and uh, the majority of all the other aftershocks uh, it looks like they're defaulting around 10 kilo kilometers uh, that 4.0 being a little bit deeper 28.7 kilometers uh, but still pretty big pretty big earthquake no doubt and as I mentioned, there's a little summary down here about it. I'm not going to read the entire thing, uh, but this area is prone to moderate and large earthquakes throughout history. Uh, looks like there's been, uh, well, about 29 other M6, larger than M6 earthquakes over the last 100 years. That's a pretty good sized number there. Uh, they talk about an M7.7 earthquake in July 1956. <coughs> Excuse me. Still kind of uh, feeling a little icky. Um, yeah, so definitely some big earthquakes out there in that region that uh, throughout the history area. Uh, this occurred as a result of normal faulting at a shallow cre crustal depth within the Eurasia tectonic plate in the eastern Aegean Sea. Here is the... Uh, I want to show you guys real quick something here. This is the last... I pulled up the earthquake catalog for this region here and went back to 1901 for 6.0 and above there's a lot big ones and that that orange circle right there well blue circle now is where we've seen today's 7.0 earthquake so that area you know nothing abnormal about seeing earthquake activity over there i guess it did produce a small tsunami um, and like I said, unfortunate number of fatalities as well. Lots of damages in buildings and whatnot uh, crumbled from that earthquake. Uh, there's a lot of video out there, so I'm not going to show any of that here on the channel. But uh, if you want to check it out, definitely do so. I'm sure you guys have already seen it, but uh, pretty eh, not not some good pictures out there. Not some good video. It's unfortunate, but uh, like I say, we live on a growing planet. We live on a planet that's alive. We didn't have this uh, movement, plate tectonics at work. Uh, something would be majorly wrong. So, you know, we just got to go with the flow. Mother Nature, the Earth is in charge when it comes to stuff like this. You know, we just got to do the best we can to uh, attempt to stay safe. So, yeah, um, since then, let's go back over here real quick. What do you got? one day magnitudes okay so there's been a little bit of earthquake activity following that large 7.0 a little bit of movement up here around the arctic circle towards greenland northeast of iceland there a pair of earthquakes a couple uh, five pointers there that was following the uh, 7.0 we haven't seen too much movement over here in this area we see a little bit of activity there in the mid-atlantic region just 5.9 almost a six pointer a lot of this activity followed that uh, 
Well, the Mid Atlantic Ridge, Mid -Atlantic Ridge one was before the 7.0, but uh, this earthquake activity up north around the Arctic Circle area was uh, right here, following that 7.0. A lot of times when we see movement uh, at that magnitude, we're looking at uh, you know a lot of obvious pressure buildup in other areas. Uh, so far we really haven't seen it. It's kind of backtracked over here along the Pacific Ring of Fire. Continued movement over here around uh, the Philippines, 4.6. The latest quake on the map, a pretty deep one too, 160 kilometers below the surface. Last few days there we've seen tremendous amount of deep earthquake activity in Fiji. And uh, like I say, it looks like it's continuing there with a the deep movement throughout the Pacific Plate area into North America here relatively quiet for the 2.5 and above map and uh, just some average earthquake activity there for the all magnitudes including um, Southern Cal looks like a little red little red dot there a little microquake there near the Brawley seismic zone this is an area where we see a lot of swarming we, we're not seeing any swarming at the moment and some continued activity up through the San Jacinto Fall area and just around the southern section of the San Andreas Fault there some uh, microquakes going on so I'm not for sure why my uh, why the fault system isn't being picked up but uh, let's see here Let me refresh this kinda strange a lot of times you click or at least you cover the mouse over here and you get the uh, you get the fault systems name but for some reason mine's not doing that right now not for sure I'm not gonna stress on it too much some uh, man-made quakes there right across the Garlock fault I do know this one right here Garlock fault system that runs into the San Andreas fault here that dark red line a couple query blast 1.3 and uh, another 1.3 there just right just right off of the Garlock fault they're not for sure why they would be tempting mother nature there with that but it is what it is up north some movement around Lassen Peak once again. Last, well, when it was about a few days ago, we've seen a handful of earthquakes up here, just in the microquake range, kind of like we're seeing right now. 0 0.2, 0 0.3 around the Lassen Summit area. Kind of keeping a close eye on that one. If that thing starts popping there, I'm not going to be in a good spot. Uh, some movement way up here in Idaho. This is typical earthquake activity right along this sawtooth fault system. Some new movement up here northwest of Helena. Just a couple small earthquakes, nothing major moving, but uh, looking relatively uh, standard, I guess. I don't know about standard. Average, I should say for earthquake activity in North America right now. The Yellowstone area did see a little bit of swarming going on uh, throughout the morning. You can see Maple Creek there is showing quite a bit of earthquake activity. Every, one, every single one of these spikes here uh, is an earthquake. These are microquakes that are showing up locally at this station. Uh, the bigger ones of course will show up in red and also show up in other uh, areas there on the seismographs. Uh, the seven pointer that struck in the Greece area sometimes shows up and I believe that's it right there showing up on all the seismograph stations that are sensitive enough to pick up to be able to pick them up these other ones pretty much squashed the data completely but yeah I mean that 7.0 showed up pretty nicely on these seismographs here uh, and that's half you know that's around the other side of the world pretty crazy that you can pick stuff up like that uh, the trimmer map real quick. Let me see here. What do we got going on? I haven't looked at this yet. Looks like uh, kind of looks like last night there. Movement picking up in southern Oregon or southern Washington once again, and northern California border uh, of Oregon right there. A little bit of swarming, not swarming, but trimmer movement along the Cascadia subduction zone it hasn't completely calmed down, except for one day I think within the last week. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Just gonna do an earthquake uh, today. An earthquake history. I haven't even looked at this yet either. Today's not the 31st yet. We'll cover that tomorrow. 
6.8 back in 1983 on the opposite side of Turkey. 7.0 was over here, right there around the Aegean Sea area. The 6.8 struck eastern Turkey back in 1983, caused a large amount of um, fatalities there. And uh, of course, damages to villages and stuff like that. Unfortunate, but like I said, we live on a growing planet. So anyway, folks, I'm going to jump off here and um, hope everyone stays safe out there. It is Friday night. Tomorrow's going to be Halloween. Full moon, right? Full moon on Halloween. What could go wrong? Who knows? Things are getting pretty interesting on this planet that we live on. So a lot of this stuff is all old earthquake activity in the red rings. So there's technically not a whole lot going on out there. I'm sure that will change, no doubt. So, Alright folks, I'm out of here. Stay safe. I'll chat you guys tomorrow sometime. Peace.